Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Hope you are doing well. We'll start with our today's question session. A parent calls the after hours triage nurse about a three years old child who is sick with the flu. Which report by the parent would necessitate intervention by the nurse? So here the question is directly asking. A child who is uh, diagnosed with the flu, who is three years old, and the father is asking uh, about some of the advice to the triage after hours triage nurse. And while discussing the present situation of the child, some of the statements made by the parent would require an immediate attention because if it is not taken proper attention at this time, it can lead to some of the consequences. So we'll see the options one by one. Option 1 says acetaminophen being given every 4 hours for fever. Option 2 bismuth subsalicylates being used for nausea. Option 3 ibuprofen being given every 6 hours for body pain. Option 4 popsicles and gelatin desserts being used for hydration. So what do you think while reading these options? Is that anything coming to your mind uh, which might require an immediate attention at present? We'll see one by one. First one, acetaminophen being given every four hours for fever. So that is a normal treatment and uh, it is nothing uh, will cause or it will not lead to any of the consequences at present. And it's advisable also. So we'll eliminate the option one. Then the option 2 says bismuth subsalicylates being used for nausea. So what is this content bismuth subsalicylates? In the previous videos we have studied a condition called the Ray syndrome. I hope you might be remember that one. Ray syndrome, what do you mean by Ray syndrome? So when a child had the episode or diagnosed with uh, any of the viral illness like uh, influenza or varicella and the child is taking any of the aspirin or salicylates content it may lead to Ray syndrome I will make you clear when a child who had an episode of uh, who is uh, diagnosed with a viral illness like varicella or influenza and the child is taking uh, any of the aspirin content medicine at the time it may lead to Ray syndrome because it's a complication so when the father or the mother will make a statement that bismuth subsalicylates being used for anosia who is sick with the flu the nurse should immediately tell to the parent that stop taking or stop giving that particular medication because it could possibly lead to race syndrome because the bismuth subsalicylate it contains salicylates and it's the same like an aspirin so avoiding any content of salicylates and aspirin to a child who is sick with the flu for preventing the complication of Ray syndrome so our answer for this question will be option 2 we'll see why other two options will not be the correct statement or will not be the answer ibuprofen being given every six hours for body pain so that is also a normal advisable treatment it's nothing lead to any consequences at present then popsicles and gelatin desserts being used for hydration we know that it's pretty difficult for the child to uh, have uh, more fluid food items or to drink some of the uh, watery content items because they might be more reluctant so in those situations the water and fluids should be offered very frequently and popsicles and gelatin desserts provide a palatable means of getting children to ingest fluids so that is the reason it is a correct statement and it is advisable also to provide popsicle and gelatin desserts so that will uh, increase the hydration and it can be administered frequently also so i hope it's clear our answer for this question will be option two this one subsalicylates being used for nausea because of the complication of Ray syndrome any of the children who is diagnosed or who is sick with the flu with the varicella or influenza or not advised to take any of the salicylates or the aspirin content medications